In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a three option spiral binding effect uh, infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've just put the option one, which is binding to the detailed text along with the icon. And here, this is the option two and option three. And likewise, I have created one more slide uh, with uh, four options. You can see here and one more with the same three options. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to a dark gray background. Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size. Right mouse click, go to format shape and go to effects, shadow, go to presets and select offset right increase the distance and blur also increase it shape outline make it no outline and shape fill select the same color which is of the background for example i'm just going to set the eyedropper and select this so you can see here the same background i'm going to insert one more rectangle to cover this I'm just going to cover this much again shape outline make it no outline shape fill select the same color of the background so you can see here you can just see this much shadow only if you want you can cover it the whole till this much now I'm going to select this small one press ctrl D bring the other side go to effects shadow from right i'm going to make the shadow to left again increase the distance increase the blur size and again i'm going to copy this one bigger one Control d to select and put it here and this also you just can see here let me just make it somewhat and bring this to top or front so you can see here I have got this shadow effect if I want I can move a little bit more and then I'm going to insert some more shapes click insert shapes and from rectangles select this one which is top corners rounded maybe make this much size and you can see here two small orange dots i'm just going to drag this top orange inside so it becomes fully curved and then go to rotate you can just rotate it for example rotate right 90 degrees and bring it here increase the size a little bit more and then send to back so you can see here the shadow effect and then I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate and rotate I am saying flip horizontal and increase the size and this also send to back and then I'm going to use kind of a spiral binding effect to merge or to link these two shapes. So before that, if you want to change the color, you can just change the color of your choice. And make sure that uh, the outlines are removed. Go to shape outlines, make it no outlines here. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the oval shape, draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size let me just zoom in I put exactly in the center and then I'm going to remove the outline and background color I can give some dark color and effects go to shadow presets and I'm going to select which is this one inside right so you can see here and press ctrl D to duplicate this one put it the other side and shadow make this side then I'm going to insert again shapes 
and from flowchart I'm going to select which is the terminator and join these two you can see here something like this and I'm going to give some gradient fill first I'm going to give some a black color here and direction I'm going to select this one shape outline make it no outline and the other and also I'm going to select the same black color and here I'm going to select a kind of a gray and this also I'm going to select the same gray and I'm going to add one more stop by just clicking it here and I'm going to select white so you can see here the spiral binding effect design is ready so if I just zoom out so you can see here I've got this shape so I'm just going to highlight this uh, these three shapes the two circles and one terminator press ctrl G to group it so you can see here that has been grouped now I can simply copy and paste this below or if I want I can just copy and paste as it is or if I want to change the direction I can change it so I'm just going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate it go to format rotate and just say flip horizontal and send to back select this press ctrl D rotate flip horizontal and send to back and then I'm going to just select this press ctrl D and you can see here this has been attached let me just move a little bit here and then I can select all ctrl D to duplicate and I can add here and again send to back and then I can just go and give some different colors to it here I can give some light colors so you can see here the design is almost ready and if I want I can select all these by holding the shift key and give some shadow effect and if you like to add one more you can add it one more also provided that you have a sufficient space and then I'm going to add the options here go to insert text box and just type 01 or you can type ABC also white color font choose the font of your choice make it bold increase the size and put it here control D I can put one more here again control D I'll just put one more here so this will be three this will be two and then go to insert you can add your detailed text here again I'm going to select the same font white reduce the size control D control D and if white is not visible you can just change the color to somewhat darker color and this also you can change it so you can see here uh, the design is ready and if you like to add some icons you can just go to insert and select the icons and you can insert it here That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.